what's up everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about mini PCs, TV boxes. What are they? What's the difference? And how do they work? So over to my right, I have a few of them. It's from the brand Vork and I'm going to go through a little bit about the operation, the function and the different operating systems that they run on. So let's take a look at how we've got them connected up. So this one here on the left is the Vork Z1 or Z1 for our American friends. And this next to it is the Z3, also from Vork. And these two are TV boxes and they're running on Android OS. So just similar to your mobile phones, smartphones, they run in a similar fashion, turning your PC into something with more functionality. You can run apps on them and they connect up to these two objects here, which I have running at the moment. We have a HDMI splitter and an HDMI switcher. So for the HDMI switcher, what it does is it will take different um, inputs and put them through to one screen, one monitor, such as this large TV here. So you can have a numerous devices, TV boxes, mini PCs that all go through to one uh, display, which you can switch through. The splitter, on the other hand, does the opposite function, it has the opposite function, whereby you can put in uh, one device and have it playing through various monitors. So for example, you have the Vork uh, Z1, and it could hook up to this large TV here, and this smaller monitor here, playing the same input through two outputs. Okay, so that's the Z1 and the Z3. Over here we have, and I'll show you how it looks on this, the display in a moment, this is the Vork V1 Plus. It is a mini PC and it's running on Windows 10. Next to it we have the V2 Plus, also from Vork, and it's running on Ubuntu. So what you were just looking at was the um, output from this Z1. Now what we're looking at is the output from the V1 Plus over here. So whereas before it was Android TV box, now this is a Windows based mini PC. As you can see, it's running on Windows 10. Now when you're running software like this, whether you're using a mini PC or a TV box, they both have a lot more functionality than a normal television, obviously. There's different apps and software that you can run on it. So it's not really suitable for using something like this, a standard TV remote. But then on the other hand, you could use something like a traditional PC keyboard, but those are often a little bit too large and a bit too bulky when you're just sitting down, chilling at home on the sofa. You might not necessarily want a big, big thing like that sitting on top of your lap. Now, on the other hand, you have something like this. It's the iPads port mini keyboard. As you can see, all the functionality of a normal PC keyboard, but in a much smaller compact size. So very handy, easy to take around with you, lightweight, no problems there. And you might have noticed as well, at the top, we have this trackpad. So it also doubles up as a mouse, uh, similar in the way to a trackpad on your laptop. Uh, so now this, using a uh, USB receiver, is hooked up to this Vork V1 Plus and I can show you how it works. So it's switched on, activated and as I move my finger around the trackpad, we can see the cursor on the screen moving. It follows it very well, nicely there and no noticeable lag. Also, let me try and open up a um, some sort of document. Actually, let's just go ahead and open up Windows. Uh, sorry, rather Internet Explorer, Microsoft Internet Explorer. And oh dear, it's not connected to the internet. Let's try something else. And just to show you how it types, as I type here down at the bottom, it will also type on the screen. Now you can see the letters appearing up in that search bar. There you go. Ooh, there's my misspelling. And there you have it. The iPads port mini keyboard in combination with this Vork V1 Plus. Okay, so now we're looking at the Z3. 
and what it can do. We've got the um, GUI here, and this is also running on Android. So let's just go through using the controller I have here to my apps there. All right, so here we have a few apps on the Z3, and it's got things from Google, such as Gmail and Google Search, and Facebook as well. So a lot of common popular apps that you'd find on your smartphone and they're going to all be accessed through your TV or other monitors like this Philips PC monitor I have here. What else do we have? We have your music, Google Maps, things like Twitter and Skype, also the Play Store so you can download more apps and also a very important application to have or platform I should say is Netflix for many of your favourite TV shows and movies. And this is also a great app, or rather a great piece of hardware, to access the YouTube application. Hmm. Now here we are now in the YouTube application on the Z3, one of the most handy apps there is to access one of the best channels on YouTube, which is of course the Geek Buying channel. Let's just play a little bit of video here to show you how it works. If you want to buy the iPads port mini keyboard, one of these Vork TV boxes, mini PCs, HDMI splitters or HDMI switches, then head to geekbind.com and enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe.